My mother is extremely loving. I think she is the most strong-willed person I've ever met in my entire life. She is like a fighter and she is resilient. I would just add that she is extremely smart, like scary smart. Yeah. <laughs> so can you tell us your story, Mom? My story started in high school, and that's where I met your dad. We were neighbors. He was having difficulty in math. I remember the first session where I was helping him, and <laughs> the entire two hours, we were just laughing. There wasn't any math tutoring going on here. <laughs> Fast forward to about, um, say, six, seven years later, I'm 23, and he's 24, and we married with two children. My first business was working at um, a hair salon. I am born that way. I'm hardwired. I get up every morning and I think, okay, this can make money. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I have a building I'm close to downtown and I'm going to furnish it. So I went to Brittany's room and I started taking parts of her furniture. I don't think I had a bed after. <laughs> she, I literally, she left me with nothing. And that's how my furniture rental started. Now, Oat is a, oh, a spin-off from it. We're able to create this family business together. It's a black-owned business, family-owned business, one of the first black-owned hostels in the city. I think when you're building your business, you're so selfless, and it was always like, how am I going to provide, provide for these four kids? And you work so hard. <laughs> and now the fact that you go out dancing and you have like sleepovers with your friends makes me really happy. I remember when we were growing up, I felt like you were extremely protective of us. You always wanted to make sure that we were safe and that we were okay. There were a lot of rules and regulations. Coming from the islands at 11, one of the things that we struggled with, especially Tiffany and Chanel, is that I didn't experience a lot of things that they were coming and asking me for. So the first time someone said, I'm going to sleep at someone's house, I panicked. I'm like, what? You want my child to sleep at your house? Well, that is not going to happen, right? So if I didn't understand or didn't know that that's what would happen in that setting, it would be an automatic no because I was young and I only knew what I saw. We have a business, but the most important thing, is the glue that keeps us together is the love of this family. Love is a verb, it's not a noun. Business first, yes, but love of family is above that. What role do I play here? <laughs> Other than being gorgeous. <laughs> is pretty one? Yeah, pretty is a pretty one. Pretty is a pretty one. <laughs> You're I feel like that's what you get from mom and dad. You're just handy. I am very handy. You can install anything. Yeah, yeah. I can. <laughs> I am a huge communicator. I'll just always wear that, let's communicate about it, let's address it right now, and... You have to counsel. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I am like a gift to this family, like almost like the CEO of it. I was 12 when Brittany was born, so I babysat them a lot and really saw them grow up. So I love to be there for all three of my siblings as the shoulder to, to lean on, give advice, and just make sure that everybody feels supported. Probably, the, I would say like the listener. I'm very, I'm either naturally, maybe because I'm the youngest, maybe because I'm a Pisces, I'm just like, soft-spoken. When Nicholas speaks, you need to stop because it's something that's really, really important and you need to do it. Something that I probably want to leave behind is that there were times when the business had to take precedence over the family because the money wasn't always there. I think that it's very easy to walk around and say that we have a family business and that it's owed and it's successful, but really what it takes to run a business, it's a lot of work and it's not for everybody. Like it was really, really hard financially at times. You really protected us from it, but I know that if I take on this role of being an entrepreneur, there's going to be times where I have to do that too. I think for me, I just had a baby, baby Isola. And so there's so many things that you instilled in us when we were growing up that I want to instill in my daughter and my family, but the biggest one for sure is, is knowledge and education. You're right, it was very guarded. I was, you know, educate yourself, educate my children, make sure that they're top notch in terms of what you would become. And you now can always choose at any time to become the employer. You don't have to be the employee, and that's what I wanted for you. 
Are there any things you think that we uh, could improve on? Definitely. I think there's always room for improvement. As an adult, you can think about it. <laughs> Don't have to take it. Let's start with my Chanel. We have discussed relationships and where my, my voice and what I think about marriage. Your opinion that it should be something that's delayed or something that's never happening at all. And for me, I think the family starts with marriage. Tiffany, I think in taking on the role as leader and the head of the family, switch roles sometimes and not be so much the leader, say be sometimes the, the listener or the follower. With my Brittany, how can you improve? Be a little bit louder because it's hard when you are in the middle, mm -hmm. right? And um, what you have to say is really important. And of course, my Nicholas. Cause a little bit more trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Be the child that's uh, the problem child for a day. <laughs> I'm over this. <laughs> Coming into my own confidence is something I'm working on. I wonder like what we can do to foster that. One thing I've learned is like, people won't know what you want unless you share it. So I feel like that's the first starting point. We're working on it and we're on our journey and now you know it. And like, as you're on your journey, it's like being conscious. We're leaving our mark on this world. Every time we have a family meeting, every time we get together to talk about the business and growing it, I feel like we're creating that legacy and that's what you always wanted for our family, right? And that's what I think our dad always wanted as well, so we're doing this for him. Building that legacy, creating that with you guys has been the most fulfilling and rewarding thing that I've ever done in my life. And I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. I respect you guys so much. I really can't wait to see where we take this business because I know that we're destined for great things.